Hi guys, my name's Bill, and what I want to do is show you how to test a wall outlet and how to troubleshoot it when it's not working. All right guys, so here's the scenario. Your refrigerator quit working, maybe it was your washer, your microwave, coffee pot, maybe it's a plug-in electric heater or something like that, but whatever it is, it's not working, and you don't know why. It could be, it could be that whatever's plugged into the outlet is bad, or the outlet doesn't have any power. So the first thing you want to do is locate the panel box in your house, which is going to look similar to this, and I'm sure you guys know where it's at in your house, and you want to look for any trip breakers. And it's going to be pretty obvious. One of them is not going to look like the others, and it's going to be in the off position. So of course what you want to do is reset the breaker. So maybe you reset the breaker, now your refrigerator is working again, or your microwave, or whatever the case may be. So what could possibly have happened here is that breaker has gotten weak over time, and it just happens. If there's a lot of current that goes through that breaker on a, on a daily basis or you know over a period of time, that breaker will get weak and trip at a lower amperage. So in a case like that, you just want to replace the breaker. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but I will in a future video. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll, and I'll, I'll get to that. But let's say no breakers are tripped. So all the breakers are on, there's nothing tripped but you still don't have power at your outlet. So let me show you a couple different ways you can check that. One being without tools, and then we're gonna get into, you know, with a meter and a plug tester and stuff like that. Okay, so the first test without tools that you can do to see if the outlet has power or not, or if the appliance is broken, is find yourself a lamp. Now this represents a lamp. Looks very close to a lamp, but whatever. And you plug it into an outlet that you know works. And we'll say this outlet right here. So we know that the lamp works, we know that this outlet has power, but this is our outlet in question. So let's take what we know is good and works and plug it in. And we have nothing. So that's a, that's a pretty good indicator that maybe the appliance isn't broken, but you definitely have an issue with the outlet, whether it's the plug itself, the wiring, or possibly a bad breaker. So it's in the on position, but it may not be sending power to the outlet. But the first thing we're going to do is check the outlet. Here's another simple tool that you could use for testing an outlet, and that's just a plug tester. So how this works is you plug it into an outlet, and it's going to give you two orange lights and no red light if everything is good. So let's go back to our known good outlet, which is that guy. we got two orange lights and, a, and no red light. So we know that that outlet is working, and we know our plug tester is working. So now we take this to our outlet in question. We have absolutely nothing. So that's a, another good indicator that there's absolutely no power at that outlet. And the last, the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to use a voltmeter to test the outlet. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you right now is with a voltmeter. And we're gonna set it to volts AC. Now on this outlet, the smaller of the spade terminals is going to be your hot wire or the black wire, power wire, whatever. The bigger of the slot is going to be your neutral and then you have your ground down here at the bottom. So from your hot to your neutral you should have 120 volts. That's a tamper resistant outlet so it's kind of hard to get the, the, ter the terminals in there. And we have 120 volts. Now if you have your leads in there and you don't get anything, then you definitely don't have power. So we turn our power back on, we have 120 volts. Then we can check from ground. So from our hot to our ground, we have 120 volts. Now if you have nothing whenever you have your leads into the hot and the ground then you, you know you don't have any power so that's how you check with a voltmeter and be careful not to touch your your metal leads when you're putting it in the outlet keep your fingers away from that because you will get electrocuted if you're not careful okay so now we're going to remove the cover off of the outlet now in this scenario here we've determined that all the breakers are on but we still don't have any power at the outlet. Now for this step here, 
before you remove the cover off of the outlet. If you know which breaker controls that circuit, go ahead and turn that breaker off. If you don't know which breaker it is, then turn them all off. You don't want to remove the cover because there's still the potential that there is power there, but the wire could be off of the outlet. And as soon as you start moving anything around, you could create a short or get electrocuted. So under no circumstance, do you want to take this cover off if there's any potential for there to be power going to that outlet. So if you know which breaker it is, turn that one off. On your panel in your home, you're probably going to have a main breaker right up top. Now this is just all for demonstration purposes, so my dryer cord that's powering this temporary panel is not legal in any way, but that's not what we're looking at here. So make sure the power is off and if you, if you don't know which one it is, shut it all off. That way when you take this off, there's no power because we're just going to look for right now. So let's go ahead and take the cover off the outlet. And most of them have a screw in the center. So we'll go ahead and take that screw out. And the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and look inside. And on this one here, everything looks hooked up. You may look in there and see one of the wires are burnt or has fallen off the screw or whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and take the outlet out. And there's just two screws on the top and the bottom to hold these in. Okay, now that we have the screws out, we can go ahead and pull the outlet out of the box and take a look at the wiring. And everything looks good. You could look in here and see some burnt wires or whatever you might find. You know, it's going to be different in everybody's house. But this one here is completely hooked up. Now, we still need to determine whether these wires have power, but they're not transferred to the terminals. We could have a bad outlet. So... With this being out and away from touching anything, we can go ahead and turn our breakers back on. And you just want to be very careful doing this. Make sure there's no kids running around. Make sure it's completely safe when you do it. Because you can get electrocuted and you could die. So now I've turned the power back on to this outlet. And we're going to use our multimeter again to check the wires. So we're going to go back to volts AC and we're just going to go from the black wire to the white wire. And I have 120 volts. So now I know that the breaker is good, the wiring has 120 volts, but maybe the outlet's bad and it needs replaced. So we can go ahead and shut this back off. And if that's what you find, then at this point here, you want to take the outlet, disconnect the outlet, put a new outlet in, and you'll be just fine. But if you check this and you do not have power at these wires, then you got a bad breaker or you have bad wiring to the outlet. And we'll get into that in the next video. So I'm pretty much going to end this one right here. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comment section. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now. And thanks for watching.